Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is talk about some general settings. So if you go up here and go to settings, um, there's a lot of different things. It can be, when you're first starting VS Code, it can be a little bit intimidating because there's so many settings. Um, there's two concepts, though. There's a user setting and a workspace settings. So um, you can see here, I've got user setting is editor font size 15, where my works uh, setting is uh, editor font size 14. So um, you can see that they're, they're kind of uh, uh, two different setups. Your workspace is what applies to this particular workspace. Your user applies globally and will override any of your workspace defaults, um, typically. So um, the uh, extensions one is something that you'll want to ch check out because as you add extensions, the uh, way you will change these. So for example, we added one dark pro. Um, what we can do is change some of the settings that apply to one dark pro. Um, and then the regular settings are included right here. So things like the text editor, um, the cursor, uh, the font, you know, you can change the font size and so on. Um, one thing in particular I tend to like to do is to adjust the window size. So if I do the window, um, or the window zoom level. So I have it at 0 0.65. Normally I'll crank this up to one and just kind of leave it at that. Um, and that's good for like presenting, uh, if you're, if you're in a, um, like conference or on a zoom call, um, I normally leave it at 0 0.65 when I'm just coding and then I'll adjust the font sizes and those sorts of things. Um, when you, uh, as, as, uh, as needed to, to get the right um, kind of look. So when you type in font size, you've got a text editor font size, you've also got a workbench. Um, so, uh, and, and there's a terminal font size too. So if you do terminal, and then you've got the, the terminal font size. So if I crank this up to say 25, then this becomes really large but it only affects the terminal. It doesn't affect everything else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, control Z that and switch it back to font size 15. Okay, cool. So that is adjusting the zoom level, the font size and going through some of the settings. Um, one last piece is there's a settings.json. So um, if you go to uh, do control shift P to open up your palette, and then settings.json, uh, and I guess I, that doesn't work there. Settings.json, oh, I misspelled settings. Settings, uh, open the, the settings.json. So this is your user level settings. You can see it's the user settings, and I can see here that these are all of my different settings that I have uh, customized here. So the debug console size is 14, the workbench icon size uh, is is material icon uh, and and so on. So these are anything that I've changed um, will normally be stored in the user. And then there's also if I do Control Shift P again um, settings JSON and you can do the workspace. So if you ever want to get the, the workspace, I'll talk about this setting here in a minute. Um, but basically what I'm doing uh, is adjusting the workspace uh, and that gets contained in this VS Code settings JSON file. And that's always part of your workspace. So if you see this VS Code folder, the settings JSON, uh, don't be alarmed. That's just tracking kind of some, some data about how you want to be uh, interacting with this workspace.